सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम सो वी आर डूइंग यू एच बी थ्री एंड वी आर ऑन लेक्चर फोर ये वी डिड अ क्विक रिकैप of what we had learned in UHV 2 regarding the human being that the human being is a coexistence of self and body and this very familiar chart it's very familiar to all of us we went over this quickly that we can see on the left side in the unit of consciousness that the needs and the activities of consciousness we can see a continuity in them our need for happiness is also continuous and the activities within us are also in continuity so this gives a hint of continuity of the self and an important point that we were able to see perhaps was that for the need of the consciousness what is required is within the consciousness so for my need of happiness what i require for this need to be fulfilled is right understanding and right feeling within the self so the need is in the consciousness the fulfillment is also in the consciousness on the other hand if you look at the body you see the needs and the activities are temporary and we can also see that the body is temporary it lasts for a particular length of time so here also we can see that the body is a material unit its needs are fulfilled by material or physiochemical things so the consciousness needs are fulfilled by the consciousness the material needs are fulfilled by the material these are two distinct entities when it comes to the response if we look at the material unit with the body as an example and then this we can you know, see it in other material units also the response is largely recognition and fulfillment that means what the body recognizes its relationship with other units in a very definite manner and fulfills that relationship in a definite manner so like yesterday we were taking the example of you know you go out in the sun of course you are giving the instruction to the body the body follows you go out there is you know sunlight sunlight falls on the skin of the body and there is warmth in the skin you are reading that sensation of warmth but what is happening in the body is a very definite kind of recognition and fulfillment so this is always the case it doesn't change it is definite now if you look at the consciousness unit the self here also recognition and fulfillment is there but the recognition and fulfillment is on the basis of assuming and knowing when we look at assuming and knowing assuming is something that we have accepted assume or accepted about the reality about the way things are you can say our perception of the reality it may or may not be true so on that basis we recognize and fulfill now if what we were talking earlier about the b2 block uh, imagination if it is limited to the imagination if it is something i am assuming without knowing that means it is coming from somewhere outside some preconditioning some sensation and we'll discuss this a little more and we go a little further so my recognition and fulfillment is based on that for example i hear throughout my childhood through school everywhere that um you have to be the best you must you know get so many so many marks you must be higher than the others because there is lot of competition you have to have uh, you know work hard so that you can be at the top of the class so that you get a good job and you get a good pay package now i have assumed this to be true i have heard this from outside i have assumed it to be true 
I don't know if it is true for me or not. I haven't checked. I haven't verified anything. And on the basis of this, my recognition and fulfillment comes about. So therefore, I may have a feeling of opposition with my classmates. I may decide not to share my notes with the others so that I may reach higher up. Now, this is the assumption leading to my you know, imagination being guided by that. And therefore, this imagination leads to this response in my behavior. So the recognition and fulfillment is in response to the assumption. Now, in this case itself, supposing I had verified through my natural acceptance, if I had asked myself, okay, in this case, if I am to do this, first of all, I am not clear whether it will lead to my happiness ultimately or not. But I will also be able to see that when I have a feeling of opposition towards the others, when I am trying to compete with the others, not sharing my notes, if I ask that question, you know, the feeling that I am having at this moment, is it naturally acceptable to me? I'll get a very quick reply that this is not naturally acceptable. So I can verify and see what is naturally acceptable. When I look at my natural acceptance, I see that the feeling of relationship is what is naturally acceptable. Now, when I try to validate it in my living, I have a feeling of relationship for the other. And with that feeling of relationship, I share my notes, I discuss things, I help the others out helping them to also go through, you know, helping them learn what I have learned and so on. And I feel happy when I do this. The other also feels happy. Now this got validated for me, this little chunk of information. So like that, slowly, as we unfold the higher activities as we go up all the way up to realization we have completeness of right understanding and that is referred to as knowing now i know i understand things in their completeness the whole picture now the acceptances the assumptions or the acceptances that i have are based on this knowing and now my recognition and fulfillment is based on this knowing. And knowing, when I can see the reality, the reality is the same. It is one. It doesn't keep changing. So now my recognition and fulfillment becomes definite. I become, my conduct becomes definite. So this much uh, we had discussed yesterday. We had also... Um, given some assignment yesterday. If we recall the assignment that we discussed yesterday, we had said that reflect on the needs, activities, and response of the self. Can you see how these are different from the needs, activities, and response of the body? That was one part of the reflection. Second part was that in our interactions with others, whether it be at home, at work, or wherever. Try and see, you know, what is your assumption about the relationship with that other human being? And see how you relate to the other. How is your recognition and fulfillment influenced by your assumption? Were you able to do this exercise? Didi Namaskar, good morning. Good morning. Uh the first question, uh, which was which was like different uh, between self and body. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I can I can see that there is they, they both are totally different entity, and self's needs and activities and responses are different from that of the body. 
by the table which you have shown it is clearly reflected and i can relate to it but mm-hmm. uh, completely yes it will take time mm-hmm. and coming to the second question like how our uh, assumption about relationship changed you know uh, to recognition and fulfillment later on so for, for this i would like to uh, share an incident which happened yesterday mm-hmm. uh, my mother she uh, she was you know making a phone call to her sister in law for some urgent piece of work and she required her help but my mommy who is her sister in law uh, she didn't picked up the phone call and my mother tried three four times but no picking at that particular time my mother got irritated and you know blamed her for being irresponsible and also uh, told that nowadays she started avoiding her calls and uh, indirectly you know stop paying attention to her so she told me the whole incident and i listened to her because i am in this path so i i could i could see that her intention must not be wrong so i listened to her calmly and asked her to show me the number she was dialing i checked and tallied with my contact list the number was different she was mm-hmm. dialing her old number and then i gave her uh, my mummy's new number and she dialed and rectified the number and immediately mummy picked up the phone and assured my mother to help her on time so with this you know what happened the feeling of disturbances of being irresponsible uh she was blaming blaming to my mommy it vanished and in place the harmony along with cooperation took place so that is how uh the assumption of uh, you know in front of me because i am not directly uh, it didn't happen directly to me but i could see how the assumption changed to recognition and fulfillment of true and loving relationship between my mother and mother and my mommy so yeah. this is how i you know i felt nice uh good morning namaste didi namaste um yeah so a uh, reflection that i do on yesterday is this thing is probably little i need courage to share so uh, you know i thought i was wondering whether i should share or not share but i i'll still take it up because there are some factors in relationships which um probably uh, we go like for example my competence and others competence and you know when anybody comes into this like this program which we we just shared before that just because we are part of any kind of exploration whether it is now or earlier in our life as we've taken it on for our own self so the competence also varies in the sense if my family member has not taken this up uh, you know to kind of explore or self reflect so uh, that gap i feel does not change because uh, firstly even my my own work is looked on uh, looked down upon that you know she's wasting time or whatever in that reflection so yesterday uh, talking about competence and uh, you know how i've done how we do things differently so uh, yesterday in hindi session also it was uh, shared that when we try to forget and forgive so this is we try to forget but forgiveness hasn't come in deep inside we try to we try to compromise we try to uh, bring in harmony by keeping quiet or whatever so yesterday there was this instance where i was with my husband at the dining table at night and uh, just some discussion happened discussion me it wasn't a discussion he made a, a statement where he was assuming something about another person and i said how are you assuming this so he got very angry and he said something which was not nice to you know it i mean it would have created it created a lot of uh, anxiety and unrest inside me and uh, but i kept quiet and uh, but 
I tried to, then I got up from the dining table and he continued having his food, whereas I got up and I went into the other room. Now, I created that distance because I needed that distance to kind of relax and calm down, you know. And I came back and I reflected on it. And I said, it is all about competence. And, you know, I mean, I, I tried to talk myself into into the theory, okay? Not into the belief, but into the theory. And then I did calm down and I said, and I wasn't as ag agitated as I would have been uh, in, in my reaction or my, uh, I would have reacted earlier, but I didn't. So here there was a little shift. I won't say a major shift because it was only an action that I put, uh, you know, put into uh, put, I mean, I, I kind of took on, but my, the, the change that happened was because of that action, the anxiety was lesser. Had I responded, had I also, you know, said a few things back myself, then it would have accelerated into something which is happens earlier, had happened earlier on also, but I tried to control myself. Now, how do I change the bhav inside? That is what it is, so that I'm completely composed. That is what is my question. Yeah. So when you're saying you did not react, there was no expression of the reaction outside. Partly it was there because you got up and had to go to the other room. Yes. But inside, were you responding or reacting? Ask yourself that. Clearly, I was reacting inside. So the reaction was there. Ultimately, yes. you were unhappy with that, isn't yes. it? So when we are saying that the other's incompetent or lacks competence, we have to see ourselves also. We have to rightly evaluate ourselves also. We are also lacking in competence, isn't it? Yes. yes. And if the other is lacking in competence, Supposing our competence was more, what could we have done? We would, it would not have bothered us, isn't it? When your child makes a mistake, right? We let go, we say, okay, the child is small, the child didn't understand, it's okay. And we, you know, we are okay with it. We try to help the child improve the competence. But there, if you see within you, the feeling would be different. Can you see that? Yes. Here, the feeling was different. So here, this feeling of opposition that came, this led to my unhappiness within. Even though I may not have, I may have covered it up outside. But you see, the, the problem is within me there is disharmony. Within me there is conflict. And that is the cause of my disturbance. I am unhappy. So with that unhappiness, even if I cover up outside, certainly it is better than shouting you know, at the other, that would have made things much worse, like you mentioned. It's very true. So there at least, you know, we may not be going all the way up to shouting and screaming at the other, which is a good thing. But the important thing is, inside, that reaction is there. So how to overcome that? Ultimately, to be able to see what is naturally acceptable to me. Ask that question. Refer to your natural acceptance. What is naturally acceptable to me is a feeling of relationship or a feeling of opposition. So, Didi, of course, it's feeling of relationship. Mm -hmm. However, however, there are other aspects also to a relationship, which means, um, like, which came in as respect and trust and, you know, all the things that we refer to. So, here, if I, if I, th there's also a point where you say that, Okay, I'm because see, I'm 62, so there is a. It's not like uh, I'm. I'm a young 
<clears throat> you know, young and married for a few years or something like that. And currently it's just my kids are all, uh, you know, they've gotten married. And so it's just him and me who stay in this house. And he's just undergone a cataract surgery. So which, you know, the eye drops need to be administered and things. After that, I got up and put the eye drops also in him. And, you know, we were like, okay, we were normal after that. But there is also a little boundary that needs to be respected of respect of how we talk to each other. So when that gets crossed, then how do I ensure that, you know, um, how do I ensure that I... Uh, suppose I'd kept on sitting over there and as if nothing had happened. So it also encourages the person to continue a certain kind of behavior, which may, may, which may or may not change. Yeah. So first and foremost, we can try to see, you know, where are we looking for, for our happiness? Are we looking inside or are we looking outside? If we are looking outside, then all that you are seeing is going to be very significant for us. He must change. He must do this. Then I will be happy. This is what we are saying. Isn't it? Not just you. We all do that. So somewhere our expectation is that the other should change. The other should also behave. Isn't it? Yeah. And when they don't, we get unhappy, we get disturbed. So whether the other changes or not, that can you control that? So uh, we be here. For, I mean, I have tried in yeah, through med meditation and you know wait, all those wait, other wait, practices. Just a question: Can you control? I can't control my environment. No, I can't. You can't control. Is it possible for you to have the right feeling and try it out and see? With this is what we are talking about, right? Yes. That the self, the need of the self for happiness is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling in the self. This is not words. This is not just theory. We have to practically try it out. This is what we are doing in UHV3. And we'll, you know, when we do the exercises, you'll be able to see that more clearly but for now just very briefly for everybody also we have to try to see this directly within ourselves so we can in such situations particularly try to see what is naturally acceptable to us when we say feeling of relationship okay, at the moment that you have that feeling of relationship you will notice you feel calm you are comfortable Right? Yes. Then it gets validated right there that when you have the right feeling, you feel calm. Right now, we didn't have it at that moment because we were disturbed clearly and we were uncomfortable, unhappy. Yes. Isn't it? So, this question of how to go about it, ultimately, we have to see what is going on in our imagination, what is the feeling, see if it is in line with natural acceptance or not. If it is not in line, we bring it in line with the natural acceptance and then see how it is for us. We will find that we are in harmony. At that time, we will notice that it was not about the other person. The other person has not yet changed. But I'm happy, which was of, you know, most significance for me. Then we don't ask this question about what if he keeps misbehaving. You'll be able to see that that is his state. It's not got anything to do with you. It, that is his state. So if somebody lacks competence, Whatever the competence they have on that basis, they will act. Isn't it? Yeah. Our expectation from them may be higher than what their competence is for. So if I, you know, could see that perhaps he is disturbed himself. 
unhappy himself and whatever you said was just a trigger that sparked off now if he is unhappy what is he going to say he is going to share that unhappiness only what else mm -hmm. now if i have concern i can see i move away from this focus on my unhappiness which i think is because of him that's why i have feeling of opposition for him i shift from there to seeing he is behaving like this because he is unhappy and my focus shifts to how can i help in this situation what is my role what is my participation can you see the difference yes <laughs> not that we will just keep ignoring whatever anybody is doing and we'll keep taking things whatever they do but whatever discussion we have if we have with the feeling of relationship then it can go some direction in the right direction but if we start with the feeling of opposition there will be no discussion it will become an argument and it will become worse it will get magnified and there will be no resolution mm, yes yeah? you can reflect on it but when we do the exercise it will become more clear okay Sure. Thank you, Didi. Thank you. Namaste, Didi. Namaste to all co-explorers. While interacting with the students yesterday, I observed that uh, myself needs respect, and also they need respect. And I observed that my body needs physical facility like water and rest. I have to sit because. it is too humid yesterday i was clearly see that need of the self is different and need of the body is different nice and also when i am interacting with students and i assumed that as a faculty i need to uh, control students they have to follow my instruction they have to be in order they have to come to my class lab regularly so oh, behind this there was some assumption like they had to listen always to me all those uh, my recognizing and fulfilling was based on some assumption that i was able to observe and also nowadays the priority is on self mostly when i was working yesterday in my cabin when i was interacting with my hod when i went to bog meeting interacting with family most of the time i see that i am giving priority to myself to work on myself which is uh, continuous happiness so whenever i doubt on the others then there is a disturbance but when i see that it's lack of their understanding then it is so relaxing and which is naturally acceptable to me that yeah trust is very important then i am feeling better with that feeling as this much i have observed yesterday very nice nice reflection Uh, there are still couple of hands raised but i think what we'll do is we'll in the interest of time we'll go ahead little bit um go a little further so these terms that we used just to you know define them so what we're saying is that when our recognition and fulfillment is being guided through just an assumption without knowing then it can be source of a problem for us because we may have assumed something about the reality which is not true in case if our assumption is you know in line with knowing in line with the reality then it may work but then each time our assumption changes 
our recognition and fulfillment also changes. I have assumed something about somebody else and I behave a certain way. My assumption changes, my behavior also changes. As my assumption changes, whatever I have assumed about the other, about you know, my relationship with the other, my recognition fulfillment also changes. So I have indefinite conduct and it is a problem. Today you can see that there is a lot of problem. We say that there are problems in society and so many times you talk of, you know, people don't behave properly. The conduct is not definite for the human being. So it leads to problems. So what is the solution? What is the, not just solution to that one problem, but an all-encompassing solution, what to call a resolution. For that, we have to get to knowing. Knowing means having the right understanding, incompleteness. That is unfolding the higher activities within us, all the way up to the activity of realization. So that we can see things the way they are, so that we can see the coexistence, understand the harmony in nature, and see the relationship and our role, our participation in the relationship. For that to become possible, we have to get all the way to knowing or what we call, what we say as right understanding incompleteness. Ultimately that, you know, only when we take the whole into consideration can we have the all-encompassing resolution is what is being said. So if we define these, when we say knowing, it is about seeing the reality as it is in its completeness by direct observation. I see it within myself. And we'll be working on this through the exercises in, uh, that we'll come to after this lecture. So once you get to knowing, once I see everything in totality, then there is definiteness in my feeling, my thought, and with that, there is, my conduct becomes definite. And there you can see possibility of continuity. There you can see universality in the feeling, feeling of relationship, feeling of harmony, and feeling of coexistence. There you can see some universality. There you can see continuity. That possibility is there. That capacity is there in each one of us to get to knowing. When you look at assuming, assumption is whatever I have accepted about the reality. So when we say assumption, you can think of it as acceptance. Whatever I have accepted about the reality. This acceptance can be on the basis of knowing or it may be in the absence of knowing, right? So, absence of knowing means either we have not seen the reality at all or we have seen something about it but not fully or we have you know, um, assumed something about it. So we think it is true, but we have accepted something, but it is not true. So it may or may not be true. So then our behavior will keep changing based on the changing assumptions. When we say recognizing, recognition is what? Recognition of the relationship. So for one unit, recognition of the relationship with the other unit. So 
talked of the body, self and body. We had spoken of that example of the sunlight falling on the skin of the body. So the body is recognizing the relationship with the sun. It is fulfilling that relationship in a very definite manner. Fulfillment is has to do with the relationship again. So between any two units, there is recognition and fulfillment. The unit recognizes its relationship with the other unit and fulfills that relationship in a very definite manner. This you can see in all the material units. Of course, when it comes to the human being, this problem comes because we are our recognition and fulfillment is getting colored by our assumptions. So if we want to have definiteness in our conduct, if we want to have a resolution to such problems, we have to get to knowing, to be able to see things in totality, to be able to see the reality in its completeness. And that seeing has to happen within the self. So this is going to be our effort even in this UHP 3 course. If there's any question on this part, you can raise your hand and we'll try to discuss it. If not, we'll go further. So basically this is saying the same thing, that when we are going by our own preconditionings, when we are be true. This is not our own um, knowing. It is not something that I have understood. Rather, it is something I have assumed to be true without having verified for myself. Somebody said something, I read something, I saw something on the media, and then I went about recognizing and fulfilling on that basis. Then somebody else said something different, I changed, my behavior changed. So the conduct is indefinite. And we are dependent on this outside without really being able to see for ourselves. But when we are doing this self-verification on the basis of our natural acceptance, then we ask that question, like just now we were discussing, you ask yourself that question, what is naturally acceptable to me? Which feeling is naturally acceptable to me? And then try living according to it. You get the answer from the natural acceptance. You have to go all the way. You have to try to not just verify it through the natural acceptance, but you have to experience it and see, validate it experientially. So you live according to it and you find that yes, it does work. It does lead to happiness. And when I express this, it leads to happiness in the other also. So now it becomes verified. Now on the basis of this, slowly as we go through this process, these higher activities within us unfold. And eventually we will have completeness of knowing or completeness of right understanding. There, my assumptions or acceptances are definite. They will not keep changing because the reality is unchanging. Only problem is I may or may not understand. It. So once I understand it, then my conduct becomes definite. This is the state of Svatantrita, liberation, whatever you want to call it, where I am choosing. My choice is just not based on some random thing I heard without verifying, but I am deciding based on what I know to be true. Yes, so there are some... Yeah, Didi, uh, just a uh, uh, small clarification regarding uh, this knowing part is concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, in generally, you know, we uh, used to interact with so many people in so many situations and uh, 
generally our uh, thought process uh, our uh, uh, our interpretation uh, always based on uh, some assumption some or the other assumption with uh, different interact with the different people and different occasions and different uh, mindsets of the people mm-hmm. so in all such cases is it uh, possible to uh, knowing and understanding fully and deal with the people uh, i have a doubt that uh, based on my uh, competency level i may understand or i may not be able to understand for that uh, what need to be done to understand fully uh, that is knowing completely or understanding in yeah. completeness yeah this is what we are saying to understand the totality to be able to understand the reality in completeness i have to go yeah. all the way up to the activity of realization within myself to be able to see the coexistence okay so it's true yes. that my competence may be lacking right now yes and because we are trying to see things piecemeal bit by bit we yes. don't really understand this is why yes. for the moment till we get to realization till we are able to unfold all the higher activities within us up to the highest level of uh the activity of realization till then we do have a glimpse of this yes existence the way it is through the yes. natural acceptance yes only thing is we have to be very clear when we ask that question of our natural acceptance we should be clear that if you are trying to ask a question of the natural acceptance about say you know different thoughts i have a different opinion somebody else has a different opinion who is right yes that kind of question you can't you will not get an answer through the natural acceptance natural yes. acceptance is something that is universal that is to do with the purpose behind this yes to look yes. at the purpose you verify through your natural acceptance the answer will come very clearly and the yes. thing is this has to do with what is you know it has to do with me i am trying to ask my natural acceptance the natural acceptance is same for all yes. right now what we are doing is we are trying to change the other or trying to say okay this one i am right you are wrong yes so there again we are looking outside we are not really looking inside the yes. process to have this pros to start this process you have to turn inward you have to refer to your own natural acceptance and see yes. what is right for you yes isn't it then you will be able to see okay you know with the feeling of relationship you can see he has a different opinion you have a different opinion Yes. two people can have very different opinions but yet you can have feeling of relationship then yes. what happens there is no disturbance why yeah. because now my feeling is right i am comfortable with that feeling yeah then we can go about discussing whatever it is yeah yes. but uh, this uh, competency level is concerned uh, uh, in all aspects uh, uh suppose uh, we can uh, have our uh, natural acceptance and we can become ourselves calm but uh, inner uh, uh, inside uh, if we have lack of competency in, in that aspect then uh, it need to do some put some effort and uh, that will require lot of uh, some time or uh, some our uh, based on our samskars uh, we may be able to improve our competency level or may not be this is where we are try- what we are trying to do in the exercises we are going to be making the effort to improve our competence okay to identify the sanskars that are in line with the natural acceptance and keep them and to discard those that are not in line and slowly we are moving towards that goal so that whole process is when we do the exercises this is the process we are doing yes yes 
but uh, it may take uh, sometimes it may uh, take lot of uh, time keep on we need oh, to do and, uh, <laughs> it will take time but uh, you know uh, what else are you going to do yeah how do you do it <laughs> we Because, are already uh, getting disturbed yeah. and unhappy and we yeah. want to be happy and we yeah. keep trying to change the outside and we can see it's not working we are getting more and more unhappy so yeah. what is the solution then somewhere we have to start isn't yeah. it yeah most of the situations uh, always uh, our uh, yeah, human tendency including me also to try to change outside always uh, maximum True. possible but uh, <laughs> yes and that yeah, doesn't that work is... no yeah then you get frustrated you get restless why yes, it's not yes. Yes. So there It is not so working. easy to uh, uh, look into inside self and uh, uh, and make ourselves uh, some uh, common quiet and uh, try understanding process and all those. It is yeah, not it so. Yeah, it is not so easy. Definitely, I agree. It is not so easy. But I will yeah. say that you know, if we start this process, we can see some changes happening very rapidly. many people have yeah, shared yeah, definitely, definitely definitely you also definitely. may have seen yeah so yeah yeah slowly the competence does improve but why are we rushing anyway yeah. we are living <laughs> the way yeah. we are living at least we are making some effort slowly yes yes correct same thing you know you are running yeah. full speed in one direction now you want to run full speed in the other direction it will take some time you have to slow down stop turn around slowly pick up speed and then run in the other direction yes correct but uh, some on uh, a practical example i have experienced uh, before yes. before ehv i keep so many people away from me and i am myself away from them because of some disputes or conflicts uh, regarding so many matters but uh, after ehv i uh, i have given uh, uh, in depth uh, thought process and uh, based on the understanding i uh, feel uh, relationship with uh, all and uh, i make them uh, close to me and uh, as without keeping anything uh, that uh, whatever happened in the past in my mind and uh, i used to uh, interact with them as uh, my uh, strong uh, re- re- related to me but uh, sometimes very rarely i feel some i could uh, <laughs> some past uh, actions uh, or past whatever activities happen uh, very a few occasions very rare occasions uh, again coming into my mind <laughs> while because i am continuously interacting with them and uh, making them my close uh, like uh, very strong feeling of relationship and everything behaving even though yeah see there may be many things many things we have assumed which you know we are not aware of and those yes. assumptions are causing this disturbance yes because they are not in line and we are not yes. aware of them right now so until yes. those get resolved it yes. will keep coming back to us yes so what so i mean to say is those agents are still running inside uh, even though we are trying hard to uh, make a strong feeling of yes. relationship because that is for so long we have been accumulating all these yes, some stuff correct. all these correct. accumulations no so slowly correct. they will have to be you know cleaned up yeah yes 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 thank you thank you uh there is a mention here that means law of natural acceptance can be understood by self exploration in fact if you see self exploration the whole process involves the natural acceptance the glimpse of the reality is already there within us we just have to refer to it um we have a few more minutes we can take yes ma'am i actually was listening to all this and i was wondering uh, when the natural acceptance is same for everyone i mean that's uh, universal natural acceptance to be common the other hmm. day i was traveling in auto and we had some iftar party at our home Uh, so while shopping uh, we have collected the dates bananas fruits all kinds of fruits so we kept some at the back of our auto uh, and then we started we reached home uh, me and my mom was there 
we've taken out everything from the front on home uh, actually we would not say that we uh, unfortunately forgot to take out the dates at the back of the auto so after reaching and we just started making the uh, i mean we we were supposed to distribute as well the fruits okay so we were trying to make the list we were trying to uh, uh, clarify i mean we were just saying okay these are there now where are the dates we started searching for the dates and then we realized that we left the dates at the back of our auto itself so we were wondering if the auto person will come back and give us the dates back to us because they we he knows we 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 been traveling with the fruits we have a party at home so i was still wondering if it's natural we were um, me at the back at the end of my i mean i was wondering i was continuously thinking uh, whenever i was hearing the sound of auto i was going and checking at the door whether the person has come back to give me my dates back so that when the natural exception same for us uh, even okay if not that day he, he might not be seen at the back of the other day or some other day he might find that there are still dates at the in his auto he can come and return that but why that hasn't happened when when you are i mean see if i find so something okay. let me I just thought, let me just clarify something here see natural acceptance has to do with your intention mm mm-hmm. mhm that is pure for all it is same for all mm-hmm. but your desire what is going on in the imagination in the b2 block that mm-hmm. can be very different for different people isn't it can you see my that? desire was different from his intention you meant to say wait wait i wait, mean wait. He, he might found he might wait, at wait, least wait, one minute, minute. One minute. Yeah, yeah. okay now your natural acceptance is for relationship mm-hmm. yes with everybody but your auto fellow did not return the dates now there is a question mark now you are doubting that person no i am not doubting i am no, saying no. that if this one in that person okay <laughs> so even though your natural acceptance may be for relationship okay we will not take mm-hmm. your auto fellow we take some other instance somebody mm-hmm. shouts at us we get disturbed right Mm-hmm. our natural acceptance is for relationship but many a time we have feeling of opposition you can't say that why is there feeling of opposition when natural acceptance is same for all natural acceptance is same for all but what feeling mm-hmm. i have what is my desire can be very different isn't it from mm-hmm. my natural acceptance if i don't refer to my natural acceptance my imagination may have something totally different which is what is happening all the time and we are not even aware can you see that so oh, yeah and different one more natural I, sorry to disturb you in between i keep on talking so see when he is Now, not returning i'm sorry but we are out of time yeah 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 so it's okay we can Thank start you. with you tomorrow inshallah okay let's okay. reflect okay. on this natural okay. acceptance okay. is very different from the desire okay right okay. uh this is what we are going to do we are working on the b2 block coming in line with the b1 block mm mm-hmm. coming in line with our natural acceptance okay until and unless you do that your desire may be very different from your natural accept it may not be in line with your natural acceptance okay 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 thanks thank you thank you uh we'll have to stop here and we will reflect on these thoughts and i will put a um assignment also in the group